it served. It certainly appeared that you guys played better in the second half than you did the first half, and it was. Was it Osama, the Osama factor, or was it what was said at halftime? No, I, I just think we, you know, we made great adjustments on both sides of the ball, honestly. You know, and I, I thought we gained the momentum right there at the end of the first half with the block punt, um, able to put a score on the board before halftime. And, you know, I, I thought our kids really did a great job and our staff did a great job. You know, we tweaked a couple things on both sides of the ball, um, found some areas to that we needed to attack better. Um, and again, that's part of college football. You know, there's some things that we thought going into the game, really on both sides, not exactly what we thought and then had to make some adjustments. So I give a lot of credit to our staff. I thought they did a great job tonight. One more thing for me, with four interceptions tonight, that's a, that's a ton. Can you just talk about those for a minute? Well, you know, I. I when you look at when those interceptions came, I think they would all have come when we won first down, you know, and there were times where we didn't do a great job of that tonight, um, but there were times where we really did a, a really good job of that tonight. And I think when that happened, we were able to, you know, put ourselves in the flow of the game back into our hands and make some great plays on the ball. So um, great, great from our kids, great to make some plays. Obviously, that turnover piece is huge, and we did a great job taking care of the football tonight as well. Coach, she talked a lot about complementary football. Was that kind of what we saw on the field tonight in all three aspects of that? Yeah, at, at times. I, I thought there were there were moments where you saw us play really good football tonight. And, you know, again, you hope with this young team to be growing forward. And I, I would say, again, there's, there's great growth. Um, you know, I thought the ability to, you know, all three phases playing really good and yet all three phases at times not playing as good as we wanted to too so the the thing that's really exciting and just I told our kids the fact of the matter of it is is we still haven't come anywhere close to what we're capable of playing that's exciting yet I think there was great growth in some areas you know tonight that maybe we weren't as good the week before so um, again growth from our football team complimentary football is the way you win football games at Iowa State and it's how we'll have to continue to do it and be better Matt, can you expand a little bit on the progress your youngest of young players have made over the course first half of the season, particularly on the what two play touchdown drive that was all freshmen that put you guys up two scores. Yeah, you know, I, I just you can't say enough about the you know, Randy asked the question I think on Tuesday about what do you what would you say about this team, right? And I, I think the one word I said is courageous. Um, and th this group is courageous. I mean they, they have come in with a purpose. Um, they have come in and it's not always been perfect, but they demand to get better every day and their growth has been uh, exponential. You know, they've had to step into some tough circumstances and they've done a great job. And they've never flinched. And again, I, I would say, yes, those are great runs, but I would still tell you that, man, I think it's like Eli Sanders, the veteran that kind of giving you great confidence along the way. I would say Steve O'Klotz's play, man, giving those guys great. So. Our A players, our veterans, are, are when we're playing our best, they're leading the way. And I think it allows those young guys to play free and to grow forward. So we're really fortunate to have great complement there right now with our football team. It's been a while since we've heard you talk about situational football. But did you get that tonight with the turnovers, the block punt, couple, fourth down conversion, just big plays and big moments? Yeah, and, and you know, I think as we grow forward and start to play good football, then you can get into situational football, right, and, and have the ability to win. And, you know, to be a team like that with that skill and that speed, you're you're not going to just sit there and go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And just like last week, I mean, y you know, we, we never had the flow of the game, you know, in our favor. And tonight we were able to find a way to get that. And then in the second half, make the right adjustments and really complement each other. But that's that's how you win in this conference, as we know, and you continue to see it's it's wide open. Um, you better play your A football and you better play your best game each week. And, you know, from our end of it, I think the growth to be able to start to dive into some of the nuts and bolts right now, especially during this stretch run, it's going to be really critical for this team. But hopefully can learn a lot and take a lot from today. What does Brenton, Brendan Black continue to show you in order to become the first true freshman to start on the Iowa State offensive line and whatever since 2008? Yeah, you know, I, I just think there's such a, again, I, I know we've talked about Brendan in here and the maturity that he has in his process, his preparation, how he practices every day, I think has really lit a fuse under that that group, to be honest with you. And I think he has been the guy that's probably been the anchor of why that group has really taken off. Um, 
you know, he, he's got a, a spirit about what he brings to the table that's, that's exceptional. I give a lot of credit. Again, a great high school football program. Um, a guy that has really come in from day one, both in the weight room and on the practice field and then obviously in the game. And it's been, it's been first class every step of the way. So um, I, I'm really proud of what he's done. That's not easy. I've never coached a freshman that's ever started. Um, and to be able to do that is really, really impressive, to be quite honest with you, on the offensive line. Coach, you guys went for it at one point late in the third quarter. Um, and ended up, that drive ended up with you guys taking a 24-7 lead, I believe. Yeah. What led you making that decision to go for it and kind of going for the kill? Yeah, you know, I, I just felt like we had momentum on our side. You know, felt like felt really good with where we were in the football game. You're kind of in no man's land a little bit down there, and I, I didn't want to kick another field goal if I didn't have to and knew if we could put another score, a touchdown on the board, we could really give ourselves a great opportunity to maybe finish out the football game. So, you know, honestly, the play we called – didn't really come to fruition. Rocco made an incredible check down, kind of both on that play and the touchdown play are all Rocco back. And I, I think, again, for Rocco, taking care of the football again, I thought he managed the game exceptionally, made some big plays when he had to. Um, but uh, those two plays in, the, in that drive, man, those are Rocco back. I, you know, I, they're two kind of broken plays. He makes the great play there and then the scramble um, right there. I think it's on third down and he hits Easton. So, uh, you know, all credit to Rocco, to be honest. You said earlier um, that you feel like this team isn't close to reaching their full potential. In your opinion, what do you think the full potential of this team looks like? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I think it's it's got a chance to be, be really special. We're at the midway point of the season, you know, and I think this group has been uh, – it's grown every every week. It continues to grow, and and the great teams in college football, um, you can't declare them in September, and you sure can't dis declare them halfway through October. But they'll show up and and at the end of October and November, and they're the ones that keep getting better. They get better week in and week out. And the one nice thing we have, we got a great mix of seniors that they're it's really meaningful and important. And you got a lot lot of young guys that have a great spirit about who they are and who they want to become. So. We got a great mix. We got a great coaching staff, and we got to continue to demand to get ourselves better. Yeah. Yeah. I I I think Randy and and again, for us, this has not been a one week situation. This is something we've talked about every step of the way going into this season. You know, this this really special year that you're celebrating, you know, one of the most powerful figures that have ever come through this university. And again, we talk about courage and we talk about uh, against all odds. And, and here is here is a man that defined that for our, our young football team. And so um, obviously what a what an opportunity to get a great win tonight when Everybody is celebrating that, um, but more importantly, I think what his legacy has meant to our program over the test of time, um, and certainly what has meant this year being such a special year for us, it, it's really huge. You talk about you talk about making adjustments at halftime. What were those adjustments, and how did it make a difference in the game? Well, I, I just think again the ability in the run game on both sides of the ball. If you look at what the stats were going into halftime, they weren't in our favor. And I think we were able to do some things for defensively to change the front, to change a little bit about how we could support the run that I thought was really, really big. And then on the flip side, offensively, I think we knew we're, we were really close. And we were able to find some different things, alignments that would really helped us in both you know tight end alignments and certainly backfield alignments that really helped us be able to kind of find some creases. So a lot of credit to our coaches and obviously great credit to our kids to execute. This has been one of the best performances you guys have put up from the running game so far this season. What Can you talk about the growth that you've seen from that group across the board? Yeah, I, again, I, I would just say this. You've got to remember, you got a, you got a first-year starter at center. You've got a, you know, a, a true freshman starting at right guard. Um, you've got a first-year starter at left tackle. And so you, you put that in, and then you've got all almost brand new tailbacks. You know, Eli's the veteran, and you know, everybody else is either a sophomore or a true freshman. And so 
I just think time and and the ability to settle in and really start to kind of mesh together. And I think we that group has played better every week. Um, you know, I think there was a point where we had to draw a line in the sand, and and they got to keep getting better. If we want to be a great football team, um, even though Randy will be mad at us, we got to still run the football. And good teams run the football to have success and win football games. So, um, you know, I think our kids understand that we know how we have to win here, and we got to keep getting better. But uh, that group has demanded to get better for the last couple. Of weeks and I'm proud of them. Thank you. All right guys, thanks. Yes.